It's T A with M K. It's T A with M K. Hello there, thank you for clicking on the video. I just want to give you a quick heads up that the price predictions in this video for this coin are based on a formula that I came up with. I'll leave a link in the description to that video where I discuss more in depth how I came up with these numbers. Just understand that in this particular video, we'll just be discussing the price predictions, briefly touching on the formula, but again, the more in-depth analysis of exactly where I've come up with these numbers and percents are all going to be inside of that video. Watch that first. Come back, watch this. Now, the first thing we need to do before we can apply our formula to this coin is we need to gather a little bit of information. We're over here on coingecko.com. I've looked up Injective. What I want to take note of is its current position rank, which is number 42. I wanna write down its circulating supply and its total supply. Now, if these numbers differ from each other, which in most cases they will, we need to find out if there's going to be any token unlocks coming up in the near future, or if it's just mined coins that lead to more coins being in circulation. Either way, what we need to try to figure out to the best of our ability is what the circulating supply is estimated to be at or on or around the time that we look to sell this coin. Now, there's a few different websites you can use to track this information down. The one I'm using in today's video is CryptoRank.io. I've searched the coin Injective and I'm underneath the Vesting tab here where if I scroll down, we can see this little pie chart here just showing where the tokens have been allocated. And up here, we can see how much of the coins are unlocked or left to be unlocked. Now it does show 100% has been unlocked, which if we go back over here to CoinGecko, kind of contradicts because it shows the circulating supplies in a little over 88 million, but there's actually supposed to be 100 million potential coins that could at some point be circulating. So for the sake of my price projections, whenever I run into the situation, I like to just go ahead and take the total supply. I think that's the safer number to go with. Um, we could speculate that these coins are still locked up due to something like staking. Maybe it's the advisors, maybe it's, uh, you know, could be the community growth, but at, at any rate, if they're 100% of them are unlocked, I have to assume at some point they could be sold during this bull run. So for our price formula, we're gonna use the 100 million. Next, we're gonna hop on over to the actual Google Sheets document that has the information we need to apply to this coin. Now, I will leave a link in the description. This is something you can access on your own time and apply whatever coin to it that you would like. Now, just as a quick reminder, as I referenced at the beginning of this video, the how I got this information part is not in this video. You'll wanna go see the link in the description for the video I made entirely about how I came up with this model. However, what we're focused on is it, as it pertains to injective and applying it to my formula here, is we're gonna take the market cap divided by the circulating supply and we'll come up with a price. Now, the market cap, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna see what position we project the coin to be in. We'll start with the position it's currently in, which I believe is 42, and then we'll project a couple other options of where it could possibly end up should it continue to grow and maybe outpace some of the other coins ahead of it. And all we're going to do is come across here and take these different market caps based on that position and apply this formula to that coin and it'll give us a price. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first one for you and then I'll just present the data for the different price projections after we finish. Now we come down here to position 42, which is where Injective currently sits. We're gonna project that it ends up right there in this kind of safe first projection. We come across here and this very first market cap we have is 6.4 billion. So we're gonna put 6.4 billion in here and then we're gonna take that number and we're gonna divide it by the 100 million, which was the uh, circulating supply. And we're gonna go ahead and hit equal and we get a price target of $64. Now that would basically be a two X from here, which in crypto is really nothing special, especially where we do believe we're not even at the heart of the altcoin season. But that was based on it ending at the same position it is currently, which was position 42 and actually Bitcoin only reaching 91,000. Let me go ahead and show you all of the projections now based on the other prices Bitcoin could hit and if this coin can actually climb the ranks a little bit. And then at the end of the video, I'll kind of give you my personal opinion on where I think Injective will end up. Okay, Doki, we're gonna go through this pretty quick and then I'll wrap things up. We have, again, if it stays put at position number 42, uh, price projections anywhere from $64 to $91. Uh, average price of about $76.50. If it were to bump all the way up to position 25 by the end of the bull run, or at the time of selling the coin, we have projections anywhere from $113 uh, up to $161, an average price of 135 and a quarter. And if it were to get to position 20 or just inside, 
we have projected prices of anywhere from $169 on upwards of $242 with an average price of $202.75. To wrap things up, we're just over here on the actual chart on TradingView for Injective, INJ, and I've just put those horizontal lines and those different price targets based on potential position numbers and what the potential gains could be from where current price sits, or at least close to where current price sits now. So then my personal opinion on where this coin could possibly end up, well, as you can tell just from the way that I set things up, I am a man of averages. I do believe it's possible for Injective to end up somewhere around position 25, at least towards the end of the peak of the bull run. And at that point, it would have an average price, in my opinion, of somewhere between $135 and $140, which from where price sits now would be something like a 4X. Could it go higher than that? Absolutely. Anything is possible when the bull run gets going. But I think a 4X at this point for a coin that's already climbed all the way to position number 42 is definitely a realistic target and something that I would keep my eye on to take the majority of my profits off the table if and when we potentially hit that price. Thank you so much for watching today's video. On the way out, if you could do me a huge favor, for the old algorithm. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and most importantly, have a good day. It's tea.